Hi guys, today I'm going to show you some lovely artistic procedural shaders by Organometric available on Blender Market. And I will also show you how you can create your own NFT art or digital art using these lovely procedural artistic shaders. The good thing about these shaders is that you can create limitless designs, random styles, and you can control all designing features from one place or one node. When you buy these files and download the files, you will get each shader in a separate Blender file. So when you open a file, it appears like this and you have the main controls and from main controls, uh, you can change all the settings. For example, this is uh, artistic shader number one from pack three. So I can see I have uh, color settings here, bump settings, extrude settings, random style, uh, rotation, location and scale. If I go to shading, uh, rendered viewport shading, I can see how this shader looks like and I can try to change uh, color colors by changing hue. Color saturation means more colors or no color. So if I change to zero, there are no colors. And if I change to two, there are more colors, more saturated. Just let me bring it to one. One of the main setting is uh, extrude. So if I change extrude is going to extrude it more or less. And one of my favorite setting is random style by changing the random style value. You can generate uh, many different uh, styles. With each number, it generates a different style. And of course, you can change the scale. So now the scale is zero. You can see that there is no design at all. And when I increase the scale value, it's giving me the style again. Now I'm going to show you how you can apply these artistic shaders to your own objects. Let me open a file from pack one, which is artistic texture or shader number four. When I open this file, it looks like this. I can go to rendered viewport shading and I can see what the texture or shader looks like. And I want to apply the same artistic shader to my object. I will hide this one. I will hide Suzanne. And I'm going to add an other object, add mesh. And I think I can just add a UV sphere. I can scale it up and one important thing is that you need to add a subdivision surface modifier. 
this is very important because without subdivision surfaces it's not going to work you can see here uh, with Suzanne the same modifier has been applied here so I'm going to apply it to my object sphere and I will change the viewport levels to 4 and rendering to 8 go to the uh, material browser here and I will add artistic shader 4 you can add it from here or you can go to material properties here on the right side and you can also add it from here but before adding this shader to your object make sure your object is selected then you can add this artistic shader 4 so this is uh, a simple way to apply the shader to your objects and you can see the same artistic shader has been applied to your object so this is a simple object and it's quite easy sometimes the shader is not going to work properly that's because of texture coordinates all these shaders work best with three texture coordinates one is generated one is UV and one is object in case for example if I apply it uh, to UVs it looks uh, not very good sometimes with UVs you will not see anything so you can change it to generated or object texture coordinate 